Welcome back. Coming up on March 20th, you can join a really important conversation about local farming, food sourcing, and hunger policies that affect teachers. Welcome to Ted France and Chef Taylor Hignite from the University of Indianapolis to tell us more about what you can learn at the ninth annual Fairbanks Symposium. Guys, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for being this here. This looks incredible and smells amazing. Too. I know. The studio smells so good with all the food going on. Before we get into all this, which I cannot wait, give us an overview of the symposium. So this is our ninth annual Fairbanks Symposium. Um, we're really lucky to partner with Indiana Humanities, and this year we're focusing on food. And what better way to show it off than our own chef, Chef Taylor? Yeah, that's great, I Chef love. Taylor. What are you What are you prepping today? So first, I'm going to make a blueberry barbecue sauce Ooh. that's uh, so sourced with some local farms. Okay. And then I'm going to slice up some brisket that also comes from Fisher Farms that we use. Yeah, friend wow. of the show. I yeah. have some uh, some chicken leg that comes from Miller's Poultry. Wow. Some local Indiana corn, cream corn style, Look and then a jalapeno looks. cornbread. Oh my gosh, does this sound amazing? Tenora, you get you catch her with it? She's got it <laughs> ready, ready to taste. Blueberry test. barbecue sauce. I'm excited Ooh. about that. Can you walk us through everything right yeah. now? Because we yeah, want to learn absolutely. from you. So what are you doing first? So first I'm gonna get orange juice and apple cider vinegar. Nice. Okay. In nice my base pot. there. Yes. Okay. And then I'm gonna add my sugar so I can get that dissolved. Okay. Ooh, okay, right. nice. I'm gonna let that. A healthy amount of brown sugar. That is a brown sugar right amount. there, yes. Okay. All right. Love it, love it. Yeah. What next now? So while that starts to simmer, we're gonna add blueberries too. All right. And we're gonna let those cook down a little bit while I Slice up some brisket. Cool for you all. Man, I love oh, blueberries. Nice, me They're too. They're so good. Yeah. What? Uh, let's talk about this year's theme, and and why is this an important conversation, Ted? Well, I think this is an important conversation because we don't think enough about where our food comes from. Yeah. yeah. Um, right. Food access, food equity, mm -hmm. um, and so we want Hoosiers to be much more aware of that. Sure. Um, you know, in in many of these situations, one in four kids in central Indianapolis can be food insecure. Mm -hmm. These are the kinds of things we tend not to think about. Yeah. So we really want to. Uh, make people be more intentional about their food choices and know where it's sourced from as well. It's a really high percentage, one in four kids in food insecurity. Wow, that's good. And that's why it's so good to have these conversations. Yep. What are you most excited about? Because I know you've been doing this for a couple years. Oh, it's just such a treat to bring people to our campus. Yeah. And you know, yeah. um, it's it's an absolute honor to, to sit and listen and learn. And that's, I think, the key part of it is I'm not an expert on these issues, but every year that we have something, I, I become a little bit more informed. Yeah. And I welcome people to come and do the same. Oh, yeah. Man, does this look oh, good? oh my God. Not to mention the food we have here, right? The I'm smelling food. what Chef is cooking, and it is fantastic. So we're plating things up right here. This yes. is from Fisher Farms, you said? This is the Fisher Farms oh, brisket. And so I brought a brisket with me. So they look a lot different <laughs> from the commercially produced. That looks um, they're so a lot thinner. Good. That look at the is bark nice. On there too, Jill. Oh, that's that great. is. So. That's just juicy. Yeah. yeah. All right, so you got the blueberries yeah. going. Yeah. We're gonna put some green on top. Yeah, a little bit of. It's a phrase from my grandmother. If it isn't green, it's obscene. Oh, oh I love that. <laughs> okay. That's what I teach my cooks. Make sure we garnish everything. Okay, oh, nice. all right, what's next? So now these blueberries are simmering. I'm going to add in everything else. So I have some ketchup. Okay, okay. nice. So this is a really basic recipe that's really easy to, to knock out at home too. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and see, these are ingredients that I would never uh -uh. think go together. Nope. Tenoria probably knows. She's like, yeah, She's these like, would mix. I would together. have no idea. Yeah, she just gave us the green. Uh-huh. We're going to put a little look at, Dijon look at his mustard. Okay, that, that was kind of Swiss Army style right <laughs> Hold there. Hold on, do you see like, this? Oh, he just pulled a spoon, a spoon out of his He's going to pull it off the left deltoid right there. <laughs> that is a pro move. That's I'll be sure to flex pocket. across next time. <laughs> That's legit. I, want I love that. that. <laughs> so getting everything together. Okay, nice. Add some spices here. Really just some onion, garlic, salt, okay. pepper, paprika, and a little chili powder. Okay, nice. perfect. Okay. All right. Those in. Now typically this is something that we would let simmer for, you know, 15, yeah. 20 minutes. I also okay. want to let you know that in our control room, you were just referred to as the Rambo of cooking. He's just got a utility pocket. Like the Rambo of Smooth. cooking. <laughs> Brisket. What an honor. Spices. You can get that on the chef coat. <laughs> oh man, dude. It's a subtle flex and I love it. It really is. Yeah. And then the last is just a just a teensy bit of some molasses. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So we added the yeah. molasses in so Now there. that that's going, and it's pretty hot right now, okay. so what yeah. we're gonna do is we're gonna get our blender. Yep. Ted, as Chef is prepping that, how can people learn more about the symposium and attend if they're interested in these topics? Yeah, the best way is to go to news.uindy.edu. Okay. Uh, registration is also on Eventbrite. You can yeah. just Google um, Fairbanks Symposium. Great. Yeah. And it's filling up quickly. Okay. Uh, as you can see why, in addition to the Ooh. 
Ooh. Great conversation. We're going to have feature of this food yeah. uh, on the 20th, so it's going to oh be amazing. Gosh. I'm excited. You can excited. definitely see why. Take a look at your screen right there if you'd like those details. Yeah. It's everything that you need to know about this event. And even if they can't make it to the event, what's the best way to learn more about the mission and what you guys are doing? Well, we will, again, on news.und.edu, we will also be following up with our partners, Indiana Humanities. Okay. And we always yeah. do a f five things we learn follow-up. Nice. Yeah. Which is kind of... It's, it's going to be very informative this year, so okay. that would be another way to follow along. We'll have social media as well throughout the day. Chef has patiently been waiting for ten. <laughs> Sorry. What a, what a kind co like fellow guest. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, yeah. let, let everybody let finish talking. Yeah. Let's line go. that up there. Blending it up. There's all the information. <laughs> He's making it seem like you can't hear him. <laughs> And the final touch okay. right here. A piece de resistance. We have to show this. Okay. Go ahead and pour Thank a little bit of it out so, here. Thank you so, so much. Look at that. Gosh, I've got the piece of brisket that I'm eyeing. I know. So I, know. I really like the color of this. There yeah. you go. <laughs> out of the let me, sleeve. Let me yes. Let me just grab one. <laughs> right. So oh. I also prepared some in advance so you have a cold okay. and um, the fresh warm Thank version. Thank you. Mm, Would, could nice. I take a spoon out of your sleeve? You absolutely can. Thank you, it's Rambo. so nice of you to ask before you just did it. It was. It was. It was very nice. All right. Here we go. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit right here. Ooh, oh, my God. Oh, thank you so much. All the information is there. I'm going to take a bite and be out oh of commission. So I'm going to tell you right now what's next. We have local style expert Nicole Renee talking about prom fashion <laughs> and more when we come back. And yeah. there are our beautiful. There are lovely models. Yeah, we're coming back in just two minutes. Get this brisket crew. Come on over here.